What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. This is Invest 92L now. It has been officially as designated as an invest. The rotation on this and the storm structure is getting better by the hour, and the NHC is also designating this as well. We now have a 50% chance of development in the next 48 hours and a 70% chance of development in the next seven days right here. So that's what we're looking at right here. A tropical depression is likely to form by early or mid next week, although I've seen many indicators that this may develop by even tomorrow evening. So we'll have to keep an eye on it for you guys right here. We're going to go ahead and show you the latest storm information. Maximum winds are 20 knots or 23 miles per hour. Locations at 10 degrees north, 27.4 degrees west. The minimum central pressure is 1011 millibars, and the radius of maximum winds is 70 nautical miles right here. And as you can see over the last bit right here, we are seeing increasing storm development right here, especially around the center of the system right now. The rotation has absolutely been picking up as the time continues to go on. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this develops even in the next 24 hours, considering how quickly this is organizing and how much this has been overperforming all over the place right now. So we're going to go ahead and next show you the track models and then the intensity models. The track models, a bare majority of the models have them either impacting or just close to the Lesser Antilles, including the Leeward Islands, close to the Virgin Islands. The CEMI is going further south. Uh, it basically entering into the Caribbean at that point. The CTCI and CT, I, uh, COT, I, COTEI, excuse me, have it impacting the Lesser Antilles. So does the AM, as AEMI. The HMON, HWARF, the AVN uh, or have it more towards that the Lesser Antilles, but it's too early for them to really indicate what's going on. The AVNI has this just moving to the north quite early, around 55 degrees west. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the intensity right here. The majority of the intensity models actually have this getting up to hurricane strength at some point during its de uh, development right there. That's what we're looking at right there. We could potentially see tropical storm development. A lot of the models are agreeing that we could see it in the next 24 hours as of 18Z today right here. So, at, and the earliest indication of potential hurricane strength is 60 hours out by the H wharf, and then the rest of the miles start uh, ticking forward by about five days out or so. So that's what we're looking at right here. We have to ask the main question, what is fueling this potential stuff? What we have right here, warm, very warm waters, 28 degrees Celsius all over the place right here. That is about 82.4 degrees Fahrenheit for those of you who live in the United States. Or use the or or use the standard system altogether right there. That is more than enough to sustain a hurricane right there. OHC has continued to improve all over the place as well, and we're looking at OHC especially as it's approaching the Lesser Antilles of over 100 OHC right there. So that's something we absolutely need to keep an eye on. If that system starts getting into the warmer and deeper waters that are in this part of the ocean right there, it's definitely going to intensify at a quicker pace than we anticipate. And if we take a look at the shear uh, right here, we're going to go ahead and show you the Eastern Atlantic. This is where it is right here. And where it is right now, it's in a pocket of very moist air and a pocket of very low shear. So that's what we're essentially looking in. And as it's approaching the Lesser Antilles, the shear is getting better by the hour. Let's show you. This is six hours ago. This is three hours ago. And this is today. We're starting to see, see more and more 15 to 20 knot shear than we were 25, 30, 40 knot shear where this is expected to go. So the last thing we're going to go ahead and show you before we close out here are the model runs right here. We're going to go ahead and show you the H model the H Wharf GFS, all those models that are that we're going to be talking about. In fact, because this has been designated in Invest, the NHC has requested these runs to start going on. So we're going to go ahead and show you the HMON first. The HMON has this starting to slowly organize and quickly develop and strengthen into a tropical storm in the next 24 hours. We're starting to see 850 millibar winds cracking 64 knots or 74 miles per hour, which if that equates down to the ground correctly, it could be a 60 or 65 mile per hour tropical storm at that point. And then it starts strengthening potentially into a hurricane in the next 40 48 hours according to the HMON right here and it's going to take some time to strengthen it's going to take some time to organize right here and by four days out according to this we're at a solid category one strength right here both based on the pressure based on the 850 millibar winds 
right here. And this is starting to take a more west-northwestward approach as it approaches the Lesser Antilles going forward. It is a little too far out to really show what's going on after that. But that's the HMON right there calling for a mid-range Category 1 hurricane. Next thing we're going to go ahead and show you is the GFS right here. We're going to show you the first five days of the GFS because those are the most trustworthy right there. And GFS 48 hours out has this potentially as a strong tropical storm. 24 hours out, it's kind of slow to develop, a little slower than the HMON at this time. And then things start to organize, develop, strengthen, potentially into a hurricane uh, going into this at around 12 degrees north and 84 hours out. And then the pressure starts to kind of ebb and flow as it becomes a mid-range Cat 1. Then it starts to intensify as it approaches the Lesser Antilles right here. This is seven days out, so keep that in mind. Mind. We're looking at Category 2 strength according to the winds and the pressure that I am seeing. But about five days out, we're looking at around a mid-range Category 1 hurricane with some additional strengthening possible at this time. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the h Wharf run. And this is, keep in mind, a very aggressive run. However, considering what I've been seeing so far, I'm taking it more with less of a pinch of salt. And I am taking that into consideration. The h Wharf has this thing quickly developing into a tropical storm in the next 24 hours. Similar Similar to that of the HMON, we're going and then in the next 48 hours it has it potentially going down to a, strengthening into a hurricane, similar to the HMON as well, and then things start to really ramp up in strength as it becomes a mid to upper range category one hurricane and then down to a up to a category two hurricane at, by four days out right here with some of these winds peaking well over 100 knots at 850 millibars especially at 93 hours out so if we go ahead and take a look at the sounding real quickly i want to see exactly how strong the winds are going to be at that point here we are we're about uh, about 850 we're about 150 115 120 knots right there so that could potentially be a category three st uh, storm right there if that converts correctly down to the surface and then this thing kind of starts stagnating a little bit although it does maintain its intensity right there it gets down to 958 by five days out this is a run of the h wharf and this is a more aggressive run than what i have seen but given how quickly this is organizing how quickly it is strengthening if it could take advantage of everything uh, across the board the low shear warm water moist air everything like that we could be in for a potential very rare june hurricane right here we'll continue to update you here on the pat's path predictor channel as this gets closer to the lesser antilles but with that being said we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video i hope you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new helps us out helps us make more videos like these the goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather but with that being said have a wonderful day guys stay safe